Well? You paid money for this? On purpose? What? Well, seriously, Lacey, what do you think? I think you got robbed. Robbed? What do you mean? Uh, I think it's a piece of Feiyu. Feiyu? Okay, she's not going to win any beauty contests anytime soon, but she is solid. A ship like this can be with you to the day you die. Because it's a death trap. That's not... You are very much lacking in imagination. I imagine that so. Come on, you haven't even seen the most of it. Let me show you the rest and try to see past what she is and onto what she can be. What's that? Freedom is what. No, what's that? Oh, I, th I think something was living in here. Just step around it. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We have some big news and we're super excited to share with you that tomorrow we are leaving on a big road trip 2,000 miles away. We're going to Memphis, Tennessee, well, a little bit outside of it, to pick up an Airstream. That's right. It's been two years in the making, two years since we started Chasing the Wild Wonder, our blog, our YouTube channel, and it's been about maybe four years uh, actually had the idea to do this. But yeah, that's been our goal for a while now is to eventually full-time live and travel in an Airstream trailer and go see the country and go experience you know, the United States and maybe Canada and Mexico and, and then maybe see what happens beyond that about going uh, all over the world. Who knows? But for now, we're, gonna, we're getting an Airstream. We purchase it. We're going to head out tomorrow. I'm taking Parker with me. It's just going to be me and Parker. Uh, an awesome father-son trip. I think it's going to be a great experience for him. It started all about uh, sometime around Christmas. We were going to move to Boise. Um, just to have a change of pace, a little bit cheaper living costs out there, but um, you know, we decided not to do that and just go for the Airstream. Instead of spending the money to move out to Boise, we just thought, you know what, let's buy the Airstream, we'll stay here, work on it, and hopefully get it done over the summer, and then we can start living in it full time. We're excited, it took a couple weeks looking for it. We looked on Craigslist, airstreamclassifieds.com, uh, eBay, things like that. I finally, I posted a classified, wanted ad on Airstream Classified saying this is what I'm looking for uh, in this year range and these models and uh, someone reached out to me. His name is Andy. He's lit down in Memphis. Um, you know, he sent me three different trailers. Uh, as soon as I saw the 87 uh, Airstream Excella 1000, I just started falling in love with it. It looked like it was in good shape. The, sh the outside, the shell was all in good shape. Um, the inside was obviously all original, but it all needed to be gutted out anyway, and that was our plan. So, um, yeah, I sent it over to Lacey, and she saw it, and she was happy about it and excited, and, you know, we talked about it and thought about it for a while and never had any bad feelings about it and always felt like that was the right thing to do. So we did it. We purchased it, and now we're headed out tomorrow to go get it. So me and Parker are going to leave early in the morning and go get our Airstream. So... Without further ado, let's hit the road. Hey dude. What? It's time for our road trip. Really? Yeah. I smell good because I smell good last night. Oh good. Alright guys, we're headed out on the road. We've got a three-day journey ahead of us. And we got a lot of exciting things to do, so let's get to it. What'd you say earlier, Parker? Um, We're here in Moab. We just got out. Been driving for a long time. It's now three in the afternoon, and we just decided to stop and get out and go for a walk to this cool little canyon place where they have uh, it's a dinosaur track site. Yeah. Now I think that here was all muddy. That's why, that's how I think that 
there is How long do you think we've been in the car? Uh, 56 hours. So we've been in the car for 11 hours. Time to wake up. Get going. Time to hit the road. Let's go. All right, Sunday morning. We are in Farmington, New Mexico. Slept the night in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah. It's 5:30 a.m. So we're gonna hit the road because we got a big drive ahead of us. We gotta make it all the way to past Oklahoma City today. So let's go. Let's go. Almost 11 p.m., but uh, we just got to the Walmart in Salisaw, Oklahoma. Day two, done. It was a long day. We didn't stop much because we knew we just needed to get through. There wasn't much in Texas and Oklahoma. Plus, it worked out good because it ended up being rainy, stormy most of the day. So. Yeah, we got about a five hour drive tomorrow to get to where we're going, Mississippi. So we'll have half a day to hang out, not be in the car, which will be nice. So. I always wondered, why is it Kansas, but then it's Arkansas? Why is it not Arkansas? Now, we could have done this drive in just two days, but that would have been rough. So I added on an extra day that allowed us to stop and have some fun and get out of the car. And I'm sure glad we did. Two and a half hours in the morning landed us in Little Rock, Arkansas at the Museum of Discovery, where we had a lot of fun with science experiments, dinosaur exhibits, and even a tornado simulation. Turn the lights on. In the fan. You did it! Yeah! You made electricity! I don't know why I'm so mesmerized by this. You spin this thing. So you see, you spin this. And then you strum the strings, and you can literally see the frequency at which they're vibrating. That is insane. Stop this. Obviously, you just see this. Ready? We're gonna try it. So it's supposed to lay on the bed of nails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll let go. Well guys, today's the day. It's finally the day that we've all been waiting for. 
And that is me picking up our airstream. <laughs> Yeah. We're all ready to go. We're gonna be driving now to the place where we're, where the airstream is to uh, get it all ready and uh, pick it up. You ready to go? You excited? You excited to get the airstream? You want me to get your toys? Parker, what do you think? Are you excited? Yeah. Ready to get? All right, everybody, we made it finally after three days of traveling. We got to where we're going. Oh my gosh, there it is, Parker, look. Can you believe it? Yeah. Can you believe it? Look at it. Look at that, that's nice and shiny. What do you think? Hi, my name's Parker. Um, we are building the airstream right now, and everything. So let's see. It. All right, we're getting the weight distribution hitch all hooked up right here. Got to make sure everything is uh, level and ready to go. Basically, that's going to help make sure that uh, the car and the trailer are all level because we don't want too much weight on the back to lift up the front end. So we want to be able to steer. What now? Now, take now it off and do it over again and we'll video it. Yeah. We got to do take two. <laughs> <laughs> So we're heading up, setting up the hitch to hook up the airstream and um, because we just got where we go. Well, we got the uh, Airstream in the back, so excited. This is awesome. Towing it away. Now we're gonna head out and head back home. You ready, Parker? And of course, since they were only three hours out of our way, down in Fort Worth, Texas, we had to stop by and see my mom and my brothers. We got to spend a whole 24 hours with them, and we even got to explore the water gardens of Fort Worth with Parker's nine. After taking a shower, doing some laundry, and of course, a nice home-cooked meal, it's time to hit the road again, so we headed off to Albuquerque. After staying the night in Albuquerque, we headed north toward Colorado, and we stopped by the Aztec Ruins National Monument in New Mexico to get out and take a walk. It was cool exploring these old ruins that are about 900 years old. Friday night we crashed in Moab. We had planned to go to Arches National Park, but we were both so exhausted we didn't want to go. So we went to bed early, and then early the next morning we headed home. She's a B.O. Well, 
Welcome to our home! Welcome to our new home. Cheese of Beo. Meet Serenity. It smells like McGray Parents house. It's a little musty. <laughs> Been in the uh, on the East Coast and down in rainy Mississippi for a while. This is it. So Serenity is a 1987 Airstream Excella 1000, 31 feet long, um, from tongue to bumper. Don't know the exact dimensions of the actual inside. Pretty excited. We're gonna start the process of gutting all this original uh, furniture and cabinets and all that stuff, carpet and flooring. You're gonna have to take all that out. We're gonna take it down to the frame, clean it all up, put in new insulation, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, we're excited to get started. It's finally happening. It's it's just like that. What I said yesterday, step one, buy an Airstream. Step two, figure everything else out. Figure it out later. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like legit, real, and we it's ours. We own it. This is our first home, Bye, we're gonna live here. High five. Count it. So let's give you a quick tour of uh, what it is now, a little before, um, and then, yeah, kind of show you, uh, try to show you our vision for it and what we plan on doing. Do it, babe. Let's do it. So one thing that we were really happy about that we found, because originally we were looking for like a 1970s to 1980s model. Uh, the, night, the older ones uh, didn't have these big wraparound windows. They kind of ended here. So this is really nice. We're happy that we got these. Uh, they started sometime in the 80s, uh, but it helps let a lot of light in. And obviously you get that big, nice view, especially when you're parked out somewhere. That looks good. Um, they don't have the covers on right now. We're gonna have to do some repairs to get those on. The main thing is that, that the shell is in really great condition and the frame as well. And that's kind of what we were looking for because we knew our plan was that we were gonna gut it out anyway, renovate it and make it how we wanted it. The belly pan, some of the belly pan uh, panels and pieces have holes in them, but that's okay. Those will be an easy replacement, hopefully. Um, as you can see, you know, just from 30 years of wear and tear, tear seals are falling out, but that's pretty normal. Uh, good axles, good tires, just got put on it. One of the first things we're gonna do is polish her up and then reseal everything because you know it needs to be sealed there's a lot of leaks that the previous owners tried to just that they tried to fill like crazy with a bunch of silicone and so on the top there's just a mess of silicone that we're gonna have to try to clean off but um yeah in that process we don't want to reseal it and then later go back and polish it because when you polish it you have to go back and reseal it again so we thought we'd just do it all at once so polishing is going to be one of the first things that we do even though it's not necessarily that critical right now we just thought we'd save ourselves a resealing later. So let's go inside and check out what it looks like. It's not much. So here's the front of the trailer. It's a mess, but this is gonna be our dining area um, and slash extra bed if we need it, slash couch. We're gonna do a U-shaped dinette with a collapsible table in the middle. So, you know, when the table's raised, we'll be able to use the table to eat on, to do crafts or schooling on, um, or work on if we need to. And then you could collapse that down and then it becomes a full-size bed and you just throw extra cushions on there. Um, there'll be storage underneath in the seats. You know, we gotta do a lot of work of cleaning out all these windows. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna have to take all the skins off out of the inside and we're gonna re-insulate it we're going to get rid of the crappy fiberglass insulation and do all natural insulation that's way better one of the big things i really want to do with this uh, airstream is to use the least amount of chemical stuff and the least amount of wood as possible and be very eco-friendly i'm doing a lot of research about using hemp and things like that so we're going to min be minimal on the wood and the um, fiberglass and things like that still has the original um, panels in for like the shelving units. We're probably gonna get rid of that and do our own custom shelving in storage right there. You can see right now there's a full-size fridge in there, or not a full, but you know, tall fridge. We'll probably do a shorter fridge so we have more counter space. This will be kind of a pantry area. I'm gonna do an office right here where I'm gonna have most of my work going on. We'll store camera equipment and all that, computer, 
Um, our computer monitor and screen will also double as our TV monitor. So if we want to chill out on the couch and watch some movies, we can do that. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but I love this uh, little redneck contraption here. I don't know what 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 this is actually. I think this is the frame of a seat out of a car and then with some wood screwed into it. Not sure why that was necessary, but. And here's the kitchen. This will be pretty standard, you know, except we'll put in a, a range, a gas range to do our cooking on. Um, yeah, we'll see what exactly style we want to do, but we're thinking walls will be white um, and we like copper accents, right? <laughs> not gold uh, yeah and um, yeah we're gonna do a lot I think our shelving is gonna be very flush because one of the things is we have a small kitchen right now in fact our kitchen probably isn't much wider than this but one thing that always happens in that with the knobs on the handles is that your pants or your coats get caught on it so we want to make this flush and as simple as possible so when we're walking by we're not getting caught on things we're not pulling the drawers out on accident Right now these are cabinets, so all this is coming out and we're going to custom build some bunk beds in here for the kids. So, you know, one down there, one up here, we'll have to figure out as far as like storage for them, um, where they're going to keep their clothes and toys, obviously, because they're going to want to have toys. Um, so yeah, one bunk bed, two storage underneath. Um, yeah, we'll figure all that out, but that's kind of the main layout and then that'll run into Shelving for the pantry and storage, all that stuff. Um, bathroom is a mess. Looks gross, it's old. But we're gonna do, make it really nice, custom tile, all that stuff. One of the big things that we wanted to do too, going along with, um, you know, just living more simple, is getting a composting toilet. And that will eliminate our need to have a black water tank. Um, and so we're gonna take that extra space that we gain and replace the black water tank with either an extra gray water tank or an extra fresh water tank. I haven't decided yet, uh, but basically, we're gonna if we do a lot of boondocking, then we'll have extra fresh water on hand without you know having to go back into town and get more water, or we'll have more gray water storage without having to empty it and go dump it somewhere. So this is going to be uh, the master suite. Um, Too bad you couldn't just jump on that bed right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to touch anything in here. <laughs> yeah, as you can see right now, this place is just trash. But we're going to do our bed, probably a queen size bed. We haven't quite figured out the layout that we want to do. Um, but we got to kind of do some measuring and figuring out all that stuff. But yeah, again, here's another one of these original panel storage shelves that are built in. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of all this stuff that's, I don't even think... I don't even think this shelf is supposed to be here. <laughs> I think this was put in by whoever owned it. Um, yeah, it's because it's not even flush with the thing. This is actually over here. They must have moved it. That's all going to happen in time, but uh, that's kind of our big idea as far as the, the layout. But um, yeah, once we got, actually get some measurements, start sketching things out, we can figure all that out. It's going to be a lot of dirty work. Someone's got to do it. I'm going to be learning as Ben teaches me all the cool things. <laughs> I'm just ready to get started. I just want to get it going. I'm like, what can we do? What can we sell? What can we get rid of? Let's go. Let's just do the dang thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for following along on our journey. We couldn't be more stoked, and we can't wait to share with you everything that we learned along the way. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified every time we release a new video. We're gonna have lots of content to share with you guys as we go along through this whole process. So thanks for following, and keep chasing.